Sometimes the work in the harbor can be a little overwhelming for Percy to handle on his own. So Duck, the great western engine, is usually dispatched to put things right. No matter how busy the season was, Duck managed to handle everything in great western fashion. Percy was very grateful for his efforts, but on one particular occasion, the hot summer weather had taken its toll on the engines, and even Duck was a little discouraged. It was a scorching afternoon, and Duck was preparing to return to the Little Western as Percy was busy shunting some freight cars. The engines felt hot and bothered, and it had been a trying day. Isn't it astounding? Duck began how all the big ships in the harbor could go anywhere in the world if they wanted to. I'd much rather float about the sea than bask in the sun all day. Percy was beside himself. Duck had a tendency to daydream while he worked at the harbor, which could be very annoying when Percy had a lot of work to do. He had dealt with this before and told Duck about his incident with Bullstrode and how his freight car surged forward and collided into the hull of the disagreeable barge. Percy thought this would put an end to Duck's overactive imagination, but surely enough, Duck's funnel was still in the clouds. I just envy the ship so much, being able to sail far away and... Then why don't you? Percy snapped sarcastically. I'll be sure to see you all. You go gallivanting off on the horizon, and I'll stay here on my rails, doing some real work like a respectable engine. decided to keep his daydreaming to himself after that, but had no idea he was about to get a lot more than he had bargained for. The next day, Duck was ordered to load Goliath, a rather menacing barge that silently kept a watchful eye on the quayside, making engines and seaworthy men alike a little on edge. He was a special sort of barge, equipped with a crane arm on his rear end for loading important cargo or stone into his hull. Because of this, he was much easier to load than most of the other barges, but his unsettling glare made every loading attempt seem like an eternity. Duck waited at the loading dock for his driver and fireman to return from the harbor master's office. They scrambled into his cab and prepared to take Duck's load to a favorable loading position for Goliath. When they had rushed to the cab, the harbor master, who they had just spoken to, was dashing behind with a strange box in his hand. Wait! You forgot your lunch! Toss it over to the cab! The harbor master did so. When the fireman leaned over to catch the lunchbox, he stumbled over his own shovel and tumbled out of the cab. The driver leaned over to catch the fireman, but then he too lost his balance. And the momentum pulled both the driver and fireman off the footplate and tumbling beside the line. Duck was in a panic as he helplessly rolled backwards towards the loading bay. The driver and fireman sprinted after him, but it was too late. To make matters worse, the points hadn't been set properly, and Duck tobogganed through the buffers and bumped her first into Goliath's open hull. Duck and Goliath, collectively, were quite beside themselves. Goliath said nothing the entire time, not even a shout of surprise. He just stared menacingly at the loading area. Percy arrived later with the breakdown train and was rather amused at Duck's present dilemma. A bon voyage, chuckled Percy. I told you I'd see you all. I'm not going anywhere, said Duck angrily. I'm going to sink, if anything. Beg pardon, but it would be wonderful, Percy, if you'd get me out of here. Oh, but I thought the captain always went down with the ship. Stow it, you little green pest, said Goliath. Do exactly as this one tells you, or I'll be sure to give you something to talk about. After that, Percy found it in his best interest to get back to work. Duck's disaster had demolished Goliath's hull, and unfortunately, he could not be salvaged after the calamity. His structure had split in two, and he solemnly sank to the bottom of the sea. Duck knew the accident wasn't his fault, but he still felt sorry for Goliath. He's an example anyone could live by, sighed Duck. Respect is measured by one's actions, whether they sink or if they swim.